subtracting fractions with the same denominators. This follows on from the video showing you how to add fractions with the same denominators. So if you're not sure about that, have a look at that video first. Remember when you're adding fractions and the denominators are the same, the answer will have the same denominator. That's the same with subtraction. So our denominator in the answer will be in sixths. When we're adding fractions, we have to add the numerators together. When we're subtracting fractions, we have to take the second numerator away from the first one. So this will be 5 take away 2 to tell us how many sixths we'll have left when we take 2 away from 5 sixths. If you look at the cheesecake, there are 5 sixths of the cheesecake. We take away 1, take away 2, that leaves us with 3 sixths of the cheesecake. And once you've really got the hang of this, you can extend into something else that you've also probably covered, don't worry if you haven't, and that's looking at equivalent fractions or simplifying fractions and recognising that three sixths of that cheesecake is the same as half a cheesecake. And if you're not sure about that, look at the video on equivalent fractions. Here's one to have a go at. 11 sixteenths take away 5 sixteenths. Pause the video, have a go. Remember that in the answer the denominator stays as sixteenths and we subtract the 5 from the 11. So 11 take away 5, how many sixteenths are you left with? So here we have a chocolate box that holds 16 chocolates. Currently, there are 11 chocolates in there, so that's 11 sixteenths. So take five of those chocolates away. How many chocolates are remaining? That tells you how many sixteenths you have left. And you have six sixteenths. Again, if you know how to work out the equivalent fractions, have a go at simplifying this, and you will find that your answer is the same as three eighths. Here's another one to have a go at. 9 tenths take away 4 tenths. Pause the video, have a go. Again, remember that the answer will have 10 as the denominator. We take 4 tenths away from the 9 tenths in the pizza. It'll tell us how many tenths we have altogether. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have one, two, three, four, five slices of pizza remaining. Five tenths of the pizza. And you can probably see from the image that that is the same as half a pizza. And if you remember how to simplify, you will recognise that five tenths is the same as a half. Here's another one to have a go at. Twelve sixteenths take away 5 sixteenths. Pause the video, have a go. Remember we're looking for how many sixteenths we have. 12 take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many sixteenths do we have left? That's 7 sixteenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're going to do the same, but we're going to miss out that middle step. We're going to go straight into how many fifths we have left. Five fifths take away three fifths. Remember that your denominator will be fifths, and the numerator, you will say five take away three. And that leaves you with two fifths. And here's one for you to try. 10 sixteenths take away 3 sixteenths. Pause the video, have a go. How many sixteenths will there be left? We have a 10 numerator take away a 3 numerator. 1, 2, 3, and you can see that that leaves you with 7 sixteenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.